Hey what's up guys, it's your man JB here. Oh yes, I'm in the workshop and I've got another little project coming up. This time I'm making a pallet wood table. So I've got this piece of shuttering ply which is a little bit bigger than the size of the table that I actually want to make. I've got lots of this pallet wood, very authentic, rustic looking, even got the holes in. <laughs> and. Uh, recently purchased from Amazon these hairpin legs 400 millimeter hairpin legs which are obviously going to go in each corner and then I've also got some pallet wood which is a little bit thicker and a bit deeper which is going to go round the edge of the table to give it a really thick and chunky look what I will also be doing is applying a little bit of this wood dye on some of the planks of wood only because these all look quite similar in colour and I do want a little bit of contrast between some of these planks I've got some white spirit so I'm considering thinning this down a little bit and doing a few of them very light and a few of them maybe a little bit darker but we'll see how this goes once I've got all these cut and ready and the way I'm going to lay these planks or this pallet wood on top of the table is this diagonal herringbone style. So it's going to look pretty cool. Right then, I've got a little bit of prep to do, so let's get on with it. Now I've got all the pieces cut that I need, I still need to just trim them down this way so they're nice and straight, but what I'm doing is I've marked the shuttering ply that these are all going on and I'm just getting a rough idea on how many I need and also where I'm actually going to start this because what I don't want is tiny little bits like this right on the corners so uh, I will have to do this again once I trim, trimmed them down but um, I'm just excited about seeing how it looks to be honest because I think this is going to look really really effective what I'll do next is just run all these planks through the table saw just so we get a nice straight edge Well I've got all the pieces run through the saw now and I've put them all back on the top and I've still got enough timber so that's good and uh, they've all got these really nice straight edges and they all line up really nicely. Now what I was going to do was cut a 90 degree on the end again just in case it moved slightly as it went through the saw but looking at it here it all matches up and interlocks really nicely so I'm going to leave it at that. Now the next thing I want to do is look at staining just a couple of these because they are quite light and I do believe once I've sanded all of them it's all going to be quite light. So what I'm going to do is mark a few of these and give them a sand on the top because they're all a bit rough. Give, them a, give a few a sand and then dye some, stain some of them and then hopefully once they, all the boards go down and sand it all again some of them will be a little bit darker so uh, let's get the sander out and then let's dye some of these Whew. 
going to pour a little bit in here. Really is quite thick. So that's supposed to be medium oak. Yeah, look, as you can see, that's exactly what I want. It does say the more coats you give it, the darker it will be, so that's pretty good. I mean, I'm happy with that sort of colour to be honest so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put it on the face of all of these So there we go, I've done two coats on these because I'm just thinking that once I give the whole tabletop a sand it is going to take a fair bit of wood off the top and I guess the darker I can make this um, and then sand it then it will be obviously a little bit lighter so uh, I'm happy with the colour of those so all I want to do next then is get all of these on the top in the kind of configuration that I want and then uh, we'll start gluing it down. we have it everything is glued down and pinned so I'm going to leave this for a little while to dry and then we're going to cut it to shape next up I'm going to trim all the edges just take a tiny little bit off of the shuttering pie here so I've got a really straight flat edge all the way around and then I can put the edge in around it so uh, 
Let's get this cut. nice flat edge there, do that the rest of the way round. That is now looking absolutely fantastic, it's really clean and sharp around the edges and that really does give you a, a good idea as to what this table is going to look like. So what we'll do next is cut, glue and pin the edging all around. Before I fit the edge in around the top, what I want to do is just glue and pin some blocks along here. And this will just give the edge in a little bit more to hold against, as this is about half the distance or width of this. And it could do this a little bit and wobble. So by putting these blocks on, it will just give it a lot more stability. Now we can start getting the edging on and that just putting those blocks on there just makes it a whole lot easier because that holds that nice and steady and in position and I uh, can tweak it slightly and pin it. So that's all the edging on now, and uh, it's starting to feel a little bit heavier, but 
just check that out. That's looking really good. I'm really happy with that. It is going to need a good sand. Going to get some 60 grit paper in my sander and give it a really, really good sand because I want it to be fairly flat because it's a coffee table and there might be uh, cups of coffee and uh, the odd glass of wine on there and I don't want it to sort of fall over or what have you. So, um, yeah, so far really pleased. I think what I'm going to do next is put the legs on it so then I can just stand it up on the floor and I can get the sander all the way around it. I was wondering where to put these but um, because I've got these blocks on here it's actually given me a really good position to put them so uh, all I need to do is just push them right up to the blocks and it leaves it about 20 mil in from either edge and because they're angled that will pretty much go to the edge of the table or near enough I mean uh, that's going to be pretty good I reckon just hoping these screws aren't too long so I'll give one a go and if they're a bit long I'll just put some slightly shorter ones in there right that's good perfect little bit tricky with the legs in the way but we'll get round it there we go that makes that one a little bit easier but they're all done so what that will enable us to do now is to actually put it on the floor and sand it there so uh, oh yes looking good man all we need to do now is get it sanded so uh, here we go Well there we go, one table finished guys and I reckon it's looking pretty lovely now. Um, I've sanded it down quite a lot, taken a lot of timber off, I've got these edges nice and flush all the way round and the few planks that I did stain, like this one here, here and here and here, because I took a lot of this timber down or I sanded it a lot, it has actually taken it right down to the bare um, wood again, it's literally taken most of the stain off, although there is a little bit around the edges which I think gives it quite a nice feature and it isn't meant to be rustic anyway so uh, I'm really pleased with it, I think it looks really lovely and rustic and really modern as well so uh, and it goes pretty nice in my lounge. Now the only thing left to do on this then is to wax it so I will be doing another video on actually using the wax on the table so uh, make sure you hang around and check that one out in the very near future. If you've got any thoughts or questions about the making of this table, then you know what to do. Leave those in the box below and I will also leave links for these legs, for the uh, hairpin industrial 
legs. So uh, if you want to make one yourself, then uh, there you go. Awesome. Another job done. I'll see you lot on the next video.